How's it everyone? Welcome to Open Court. I'm Kent and today I'm reviewing a racket that I've been looking forward to for a very long time. That racket is the Babla Pure Strike 98 Gen 4. Let's check it out. So this is the Babla Pure Strike 98 16 19 edition. There's also an 18 20 and there are other uh, sublines of this as well like the VS or now it's called the 97. This the Pure Strike line is my personal favorite line in the Babla lineup because this is their control oriented line. The Pure Drive is for more power, the Pure Arrow is for more spin. This gets a good combination of just about everything but it leans heavily towards the control side because of the elliptical square box beam hybrid construction and I love this racket from all areas of the court. Originally I thought this racket was going to come out last year but it came out right at the beginning of this year and I've been anticipating this racket for a very long time. I own the second gen one, the Project 17. That is one of my favorite rackets in my collection. The gen three, they made the swing weight a little bit heavier. It made it a little bit more sluggish in my opinion so I didn't like it as much but they didn't really change much on the specs for this, but they did include some new technology, so let's get into that now. So one of the new technologies that they've incorporated into this is called FSI control technology, and that makes the string spacing in the center of the racket a little bit tighter to give it a little bit more control and a little bit more predictable trajectory when you take aggressive swings. This is different from the previous generation that had something called the FSI power, which actually widened the string spacing to give it a little bit more power. So I don't know why they went from FSI power to FSI control. Maybe they just wanted to differentiate this racket more from their other lines and make this a pure control racket. That makes me happy because I like rackets that lean more towards the control side. And they've also incorporated a new dampening technology called NF2 Tech with flex fibers. I don't know why they always make all of these weird complicated names for these things, but it's just basically dampening technology. And according to Babala, they've only included the dampening here in the shaft. So there's no dampening technology at all inside the head. So you get still some good direct ball feedback. But this is where the vibration travels down so it still has some dampening here to alleviate some of that elbow problems. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the specs of the new Pure Strike 98. So here are the specs for the Pure Strike 98. They're pretty much the same all across the board. 98 square inch with a 1619 pattern. But this 1619 is a bit tighter than a traditional 1619 and apparently it's become even tighter than the previous edition. That 330 swing weight is listed as the same as the previous edition which worries me a little bit because I didn't like the head heavy feel but I trust that I'll still be able to swing this with good maneuverability and everything else is pretty much the same. I do like that thinner beam for more control. All right, so I'm on the court with the new Pure Strike. I'm super excited about this racket because the Pure Strike is my favorite line in the Babala lineup for its control. So far, the one thing I didn't really like about the previous gen was that they increased the swing weight. I know a lot of people like that for the stability and power, but it made it a little bit sluggish. Just on these few hits, I feel like they actually might have lowered the swing weight. I gotta check the specs. I haven't done any research or spec research at all yet. This is a blind hitting. So far, it swings a lot faster uh, than I expected. Man, but when I get it solid in the sweet spot and I come over the ball, it feels good. It gets great top spin, good acceleration through contact. Uh, yeah, I actually like the balance so far. Feels nice and crisp. I think they, it feels less dampened than the previous generation, which is good for me. I don't like super muted rackets. But so far, I like how it swings very fast. All right, now let's do some volleys. This is where I really like the Pure Strike because although the second gen, which is my favorite, is a little on the headlight side, so it's a little bit unstable at the net. It swings so fast and maneuverable. 
I can get the racket in position to hit my slices, my drop shots, my angles. Just really carve the court up at the net and this racket is very reminiscent of that. It's got a decent amount of stability as long as I just block it in front of me. It's easy to get the racket in position. Oh man, uh, it really feels good on net so far. Good slice, good underspin. Oh, it is a little bit unstable if I do hit it outside the sweet spot though. I gotta see how it holds up against hard hitters, but so far it's not as unstable as I was worried it was gonna be with my servant volley game. That first volley, I need it to be really stable. But I like that it's very maneuverable and I can just chip it, gets good spin, gets good depth, and most importantly, I can place it where I want. I'm getting everything deep towards the baseline. Ah! Yeah, good touch, good control. I might like this better at net so far. All right, now let's get into my full thoughts on the new Gen 4 Pure Strike 98. But before we do that, be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. It helps me out a lot and I really appreciate all of your support. So let's start with the pros of the new Pure Strike 98 Gen 4. I love this playtest all around, but the area I was most surprised by was my net game. I was carving up the front court with my volleys. This racket felt so maneuverable at net and I could get it in position to hit just about every volley. When I was serving and volleying, I managed to get the racket in front to block back the transition volley deep. When my opponent hit the ball straight at me at net, or when I was poaching and they hit the ball behind me, I was able to quickly get the racket into position to block the ball. Poaching was also easy as I was able to get the racket into position and I caught the sweet spot often and I was able to put the ball away. But the area I loved most was just the level of confidence I had when I was volleying. Just about every volley I hit stayed low over the net with a good amount of underspin. I could also place the volley into the corners or toward the sideline and I could also punch it deep toward the baseline. Touch and angle volleys were seamless as well. The weight, balance and feel were reminiscent of the second gen pure strike. I had pinpoint control on angle volleys and a good amount of touch to hit drop shots and drop volleys that my opponent couldn't reach. The previous third gen felt a bit more muted than this most recent update. I don't know for sure that Bobola reduced the dampening tech in the racket but it certainly feels like it. If that is the case, I'm glad they did because I felt really connected to my volleys. Next up, the serves. I was mistaken when thinking that Bobla reduced the swing weight. On paper, they are the same, but for me, this update feels like it swings a bit faster over my head than the previous gen. The kick serve is the area I struggled with most with the third gen because the racket felt sluggish and I struggled to accelerate my racket head to get good topspin. Thank god this wasn't the case with the update. I saw about the same amount of kick on my serves as when I hit them with the second gen pure strike. The pure strike also gets great directional control on serves and I could get my kick serve to dive into the corner or on the singles line. The head lightness also made slice serves effective. The racket cuts through the air quickly and imparts good sliding action on the slice serves. Again, the precision is on full display here. I was hitting slice serve that landed on the sideline and skidded toward the side fence. The flat serve is the only serve that wasn't as effective. Although the racket swings fast, the flat serve has never been the strong suit of the pure strike because it isn't a power racket. I think the third gen with its head heavier feel beats the current gen when it comes to flat serves, but I was easily able to overcome this demerit by occasionally hitting slice flat hybrid serves into the body. This racket made serving fun and that is always a plus for a casual player like me. Although I like this racket more at the net, that doesn't mean I didn't like it from the baseline. In fact, I love taking huge cuts with this racket. This racket reminds me of the Yonex V-Core Pro 97, now called the Percept, on the ground strokes. My aggressive forehands stay low over the net due to the tighter 16-19 pattern in the middle and I could trust the ball would land in. Whether I was exchanging ground strokes from behind the baseline, attacking a short approach shot, or stretching out for a running forehand, the pure strike gave me control, confidence, and even a decent amount of power. I didn't have to work as hard to generate power and push my opponent around as I thought. Definitely a far cry from my Prince Phantom which I love but I can't hit past people from the baseline with that racket. With the pure strike, I felt like I could. On the return of serve, this is where the maneuverability really came into play. I could consistently catch the return in front of my body and redirect it with a decent amount of force. I don't usually hit down the line on my return but I felt confident enough to go for that high risk shot. 
Since I was hitting down the line a bit more than usual, that forced my opponent to always keep that in the back of their mind, and that really opened up my aggressive cross-court game in doubles. This racket is also light enough where I could flick my wrist and hit good topspin on a low ball than some other head-heavy rackets I've used in the past. With more sluggish rackets, I wouldn't be able to get enough topspin, and even if I got under the ball and got it to clear the net, it would sit up for my opponent to attack with the poach. Not the case with the pure strike. I got that low topspin to start diving right after barely clearing the net, forcing a defensive shot. I didn't have to resort to slices on low balls with the 4th gen pure strike. But speaking of slices, I love that shot also. This racket felt exactly like the Project 1.7 on the slices, especially the backhand. It just knifes through the air and makes quick work of anything below my knees. The racket produced low gliding slices that skidded low and bounced sidewards. A well hit backhand slice is one of the most satisfying shots in tennis for me, and this racket made offensive and defensive slices a blast. I can't say enough good things about this racket. The pure strike is my favorite line in the Babalaw lineup and this 4th gen in my opinion felt closer to the 2nd gen which is a big plus for me. So let's talk about the cons of the pure strike 98 4th gen. If I could leave this section blank, I would, but I need to fill this with something. There aren't any notable cons, but maybe just some small nitpicks. My backhand ground stroke is the one stroke that I've noticed with every pure strike I somewhat struggle with. I don't know if it's the handle shape or the throat design, but my backhand just doesn't have the plow through that I do with something like the Speed Pro or Extreme Tour. It's probably just that the pure strike is geared toward control, so someone with a two-handed backhand like myself will naturally struggle with power on the backhand. And secondly, the grip palette is somewhat awkward. I've always felt this was the case with the Pure Strike series. The handle is similar to Yonex rackets in that the end of the handle lacks a pronounced flare. I prefer the grip shapes of Head and Prince rackets because the flare fits snugly in my palm. Unlike Yonex handles, however, the Pure Strike's handle is on the shorter side and that makes two-handed backhands a bit awkward. But again, this is a small issue. And that's about it. Honestly, I can't think of anything else negative about the Pure Strike. I like this version much more than the previous one. Although the swing weight hasn't changed on paper, the update feels a bit more headlight and maneuverable, and that was the only issue I had with the previous edition. But this is Babala after all, so it's possible I just got a racket that was more weighted toward the handle. Babala has a controversial history when it comes to quality control, to put it mildly. So finally, let's discuss who the Babala Pure Strike 98 4th Gen is for. This racket is for aggressive all-court players who want a solid control frame that will give them pinpoint accuracy on big swings or touch shots. The Pure Strike is the most advanced line in the Babla family, so if you are looking for something that gives a little more free power and spin, you might be better off trying to drive or arrow, but the standard Pure Strike 98 with its 1619 power is not super restrictive. A lot of players will still be able to use this racket and if you just want to string it up with like a nylon multifilament or a hybrid, you'll still be able to unlock some power with this racket. The Pure Strike 97 or the 98 with the 1820 is definitely more for advanced players. However, the 98-1619 provides a good blend of just about everything and in my opinion, the string pattern is tight enough to consider this racket an advanced level racket. I've never used the 1820 version, but I don't think someone of my level would be able to get any sort of spin or power with that. But with all that said, I love this new update to my favorite line in the Babala family. I also want to try the 97 version since I missed that one last time out. So what do you guys think about the new Pure Strike? It's been a while since the Gen 3, so I'm curious to hear your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching this review of the Babla Pure Strike 98 16 19 Gen 4 right here on Open Court. If you guys like this content, be sure to overhead smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you on an open court.